Hi, this is Mark Nelson with Digital Edge Dental Lab. Today we're going to go over how to customize centering frames. This connector is a little below the water line. So easy, quick fix. Double click on it. Just drag it up. Okay. Perfect. Now click on this button to get yourself a top view. Go ahead and go back to set connectors. All right, so next thing we want to do is we want to set our centering frame. So to set our centering frame, just come over here, click on this button, set centering frame, and then come over here to your boundary border, and then just go ahead and left click. Perfect. So we have our centering frame set. Let's close off the box. Now I want to show you guys something. What I like to do is see how tall the inner portion of the centering frame is. All right, so what I like to do is I like to get a quick horizontal view of the part. Just come over here to this button that says front view. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it, I'm going to left click, all right, on the centering frame, it turns yellow. After it turns yellow, go ahead and then right click. After right clicks, what we're gonna do is we wanna edit our centering frame. So come down here towards the bottom, it says centering frame, and we're going to edit it. Go ahead and left click that button. Then it's gonna open up all these edit programs that we can do to our centering frame. What I wanna do is I wanna reduce the height of our inner centering frame. Click on that box and then click on this box right here as well. Right now it's at 11.30 millimeters. I want to reduce that. Let's, let's start off by reducing it down to 6.5 millimeters, all right? Now you see right now, even though we actually adjusted it down to 6.5 millimeters, nothing's happened. All right, to activate that, come down to the bottom, hit apply. Perfect, perfect. Now you see the height of the inner centering frame, how it was reduced? That's exactly what we wanted. So go ahead and click apply and close. Perfect. So this is done. Now our next step is we want to highlight the part. And then what I like to do also is hit control and then highlight the centering frame. Come over here to calculate tool pass. All right. We're ready to go. The next step is, after this gets calculated, we're going to mill it out. For the extended version of this video that includes other quick tips, such as how to manually place screw access holes and how to correct screw holes that are pointed in the incorrect milling direction, follow the link in the description below. For more time-saving tips, tricks, and tutorials, you can also follow me on social media or check out my website at digitaledgedental.com. Thank you and have a good day. Bye-bye.